All right, we're here at Trail Days 2018 with Rob from Bay Agnes, and he's going to walk us through their booth. But we're going to start off with a couple of things that are new and a little exciting. So, Rob, take it away. Okay, hi. How's it going? Uh, this is our Tiger Wall. It's a Tiger Wall 3, and then we also do a Tiger Wall 2. Um, the Tiger Wall 2 comes in at 2 pounds, 3 ounces for trail weight. The 3 comes in at 2 pounds, 11 ounces trail weight. Um, it is our lightest two-door, two-vestibule, two-person tent. Um, really excited about it. It's kind of a combination of a couple tents we've had in our line before, um, and sort of our go-to stuff. Uh, the Fly Creek and the Copper Spur have been two of the longest in our line. Um, and there's actually a Fly Creek back here as well. What would you re recommend this for? Um, this is for backpacking. It is right. definitely made for um, backpacking, through hiking, um, bike packing as well. Um, We've had stuff that's close to it, but everybody's always looking to cut a few more ounces off. And we were able to make a two-door, two-vestibule tent and still be able to drop some weight off of it. Um, a good six, almost seven ounces awesome. of the copper spur that we have. What, what's the weight of this again? Um, two pounds, three ounces for the two person. Two pounds, three ounces. Yep. And two. it looks like you can fit two people pretty comfortably. So this is a three. But three, like all but companies, two. a three-person is three sleeping bags. Your gear is going to be on the outside. So if you do want to have gear inside, then you're going to have to, unless you don't mind it in the vestibule, you're going to want to go one person bigger. So there's two of you, three-person, one of you, two. Perfect. So a couple, this would be great for like a couple, yep. that one, sort of thing. Our neighbors next door are talking about the two of them and their dog. Awesome. What does this go for? Uh, this one is 450 and it's 400 for the two person. And you're also excited about some pads too that are new, right, Rob? Yes. We have our new axle pad. Um, it's the lightest pad we have. Um, the QSLX, most people know is the green pad was our lightest. We had a 20, 70, 20 by 72 was one pound. We have now gone down to a, a mummy that is 20 by 72 and is 10.6 ounces. 10.6 ounces is pretty sick. check over here if you want. Yeah. So what's what's the R value on? Uh, on and so this? for us, we don't always talk R value. We talk, talk more degrees, degree okay. rating, Perfect. and it's roughly 15 degrees. 15. Um, and again, that depends on what bag you're using. Um, yeah. And where you're at, because if the the ground cold is what you get cold from, not the air cold. And so you want that good insulation. So if you do have some kind of like a Tyvek or a Tyvek mat of some sort, you can always play that underneath if you are going to be in cold conditions. But if not. Go to for you know close to 15 degrees. Wow. Um, and then on the other side here, for straight summer camping, um, we have the non insulated version. Um, and you're looking at 9.6 for the mummy, and then a 25 by 72 is 13 ounces. That's but sick. we still like 9. to keep 6. the thickness as well so that you get that comfort. One of the easiest ways we were able to drop some weight is the valve system. Um, on our regular pads, this valve system also has a release valve, and you just open up and it it basically lets the air out in just a couple seconds. This one, you're able to take this tab and push it into the one-way valve. And so this is one of the easiest ways to blow up our pad now is it's a one-way valve. You don't have to hold your breath. And you're able to just put this in when you, it's time to go and release the air. Sweet. Um, with that, in all of our pads, we have our pump house. It's a stuff bag for starters. So you could stuff your sleeping bag and pad in this. But then when you get um, you know, to your camp, get it set up, it's time to blow your pad up, you've been, you're beat, you want to use no breaths whatsoever to get your pad going, you can pull this out and double in size. Oh, wow. Unplug this. This plugs into all of our pad systems. And then you would just, you can blow air in or if there's a breeze, and you're going to get a volume like that, sometimes bigger. And that was with the valve open. So wow. when it's plugged in, then you're gonna, you should be able to get that much more air. And basically a few of these, roughly something like this is maybe thir three to four rolls and it's blown up. Um, but, you know, we know that people have the weight issue is always a concern. And so we figured out if we're gonna do something like this, it should be like the two for one. So stuff bag and blows up your pad. Awesome. So what is, uh, first of all, what is the cost of the air axle series? And so it varies from about one, 50 up to about, I think it's 230. Okay. Approximately. So you're really going, uh, you know, I mean, the, for the through hikers, the ultra through hikers out there, the X Lite is kind of the yeah. one that everyone likes. But you're actually uh, lighter. The and with the 15 yeah, degree. Has gone, has gone lighter. And, you know, and again, for me, it's always telling people, like, I sleep super warm. So uh -huh. it's kind of how you sleep. And if you sleep on the colder side, then you might want to get a, a, like, not as light pad because insulation 
causes weight. So we, you know, it's going to be a little bit less. That's why we say it's approximately 15 degrees. Yeah. It could be a little bit warmer than that, or you know, the temperature you can go down to could be more in the 20, 25 range. One of our go-to's always is our Fly Creek. And this is the Fly Creek one. Um, and then we, our Copper Spur is a long-running tent for us. This is the Copper Spur Platinum. And so we've always had a Fly Creek and then we had a Fly Creek Platinum. So taking that Fly Creek to an even lighter level. And we've done the same thing with the Copper Spur now. We have a Copper Platinum. Um, two pounds, five ounces for the two person. Awesome. Um, and then for the not through hiker, kind of our, our fun new jam that we love to talk about now is called the Titan. Um, comes with Mountain Glow. So we have tents with LED lights built inside. Um, we also have a strand that you can hook up in tents because um, it has clips on it and all tents have gear loops, even yeah. non-Big Agnes tents, everybody has gear loops. But what the Titan is, is really cool is it has an external structure. You can start pushing it towards like a three plus season, a four season because um, of the durability of the pull set. This one is unique because it's you set it up like you would do a fast fly setup if it was raining. Um, where you put the footprint down first, pull set, and then you do the fly. And then after the fly's up, you go inside and you clip in the actual tent. Um, and then if you want a little more space, you can add on a vestibule, um, put your gear in there, you sleeping inside. This one has a mirror door on the other side, so if you were the bigger family in that, you could put a vestibule on the other side as well and have all your gear, or you can put chairs and a table in here and hang out when it's raining. Um, and the cool thing I like about this is, then when you're tearing it down, it's super hot out, the tent's gonna come out first, you have your shelter and shade. Oh yeah. And if, you, if you're camping in places where there's no bugs and you don't have to worry about anything, you could just pop the shelter up and just use that and not have to use the tent at all. Awesome. What uh, What's the weight on this thing? And this comes in um, a little, I think it's a little over 10 pounds. How many people is it sleeping? Um, this is a four person. Four person. Yep. Cool. So if you had four through hikers and they wanted to all sleep together and have a big yeah. party, they could just Make it divvy happen. up that weight. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've heard of that happening. Oh, yes. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I love having room. Being a big person, I always usually rock a two person tent versus a one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Cool. Well, awesome. thanks, Rob. Yeah, Happy trail thank days, you. man. For sure. You too.